In 2020, the world was hit by a catastrophic pandemic due to the COVID-19 virus. South Africa too suffered, losing many lives and crippling the economy. The health system was overburdened with laboratory requests for COVID-19 tests that could not be met expeditiously. Moreover, there was a worldwide shortage of reagents required for the PCR diagnostic testing. In response to this, KBio, in partnership with the CSIR, used CSIR proprietary platform enzyme technology and expertise in recombinant production of enzymes to develop a diagnostic tool that could identify positive COVID-19 cases to address the need in the country and the rest of Africa. And now, for the first time, South Africa has its own locally developed PCR test kits and reagents to test COVID-19. This means that South Africa will in future be capable of a localized response when there's a supply shortage of PCR test kits. It is important to contextualize again the milestone. The milestone being that uh, we've received authorization from SAPRA for the test kits being uh, developed by one of our startup companies, Kepayo, to actually then be used uh, in our own environment. This is very aligned with what we intend to do in our strategy for industrial development broadly, but very specifically in what we're doing in the health sector. So what we're trying to get done is to make sure that we take technologies that are developed in our own labs, open up opportunities in the market for them. Approval by the regulator means that at the very minimum, we have an opening to enter our own market locally. So we have created um, a business which will employ people, but we've opened up a market for them through regulatory approval that has been granted. In health, it's very, very important. Walk that mile with the team and then say, They've passed that regulatory um, hurdle and they are now free to operate in the market. So this is but one company that has done this with one product. We hope that we can continue as we are their R&D support, we continue to be their R&D support, to feed them with a very strong pipeline of products that they then take through the same steps into the market. But also we have learned a lot about similar companies that want to get into a regulated space. How do we then walk them and support them in their journey through regulation to local markets and beyond? Obviously, partnerships are critical to our work. And by this, I mean both funding partnerships and collaboration from a technical perspective. In this instance, we got very good support from the DSI, TIA and the SAMR ship. And this made possible the development of the very first um, locally developed COVID diagnostic kit. We need resources obviously for supporting the team, for buying reagents, and also even for, for, for networking, ensuring that um, the work we do is quite relevant. Having partnerships with industry defines the work we do and makes it um, much more uh, readily diffusable because what we do will be something that industry uh, clearly wants uh, right from the onset. Using the world-class infrastructure and R&D know-how in enzyme technologies, the technology development was achieved in under a year Leading the CSIR's R&D team on this project is Principal Investigator Dr. Lucy C. Zwekwezi. So, initially when COVID struck, one of the things that became quite evident was that uh, it becomes very difficult to bring in reagents into the country. And now what then happened was that uh, the national system through the Department of Science and Innovation uh, administered through SMRC and TIA um, identified that we need our own capability or at least our own taste testing uh, um, uh, capabilities. So through that they then sent out a call uh, which we were fortunate enough to be funded for so, so, so I think one of the most important things why we were funded for this was that um, the unique capabilities that the CSR has 
that uh, we are able to demonstrate uh, 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 bioprocesses which the kit really required because if you look at the kit it has its main two components are uh, two enzymes and uh, these enzymes you obviously need uh, to develop a bioprocess for these um, that is also not only commercially viable but easily scalable as well. As the CSR we have all those facilities where one can go from gene product screening for the best bacterial host, um, you know, screening also for the best expression conditions, but most importantly as well is that we have the scale-up uh, facilities. You know. So our current conditions, um, we can go anything from a litre of uh, commercial scale straight through to a thousand litre. But what uh, the main focus for this project was to have not necessarily you know, large volume, but uh, small footprint, but high impact. And we were able to achieve that. So if we look at the current production technology, it's about a litre a liter scale, but with that litre scale, it is uh, 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 commercially relevant. And you are able to produce sufficient enzyme for you to be able to you know, pro pro provide the, 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 sort of the national need for, 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 for COVID testing. Yeah, because we were, uh, you know, paired with the CSR and we were supported, uh, uh, you know, by, by our government, uh, we, we, we want to first make sure that we capacitate the country because that was the first mandate. Secondly, we want to make sure that these test kits are rolled even to neighboring countries and also are able to go throughout uh, the, con I mean, the continent. And we're hoping that uh, we will also be able to reach even other uh, countries outside Africa that uh, may be struggling uh, with the shortage of testing because the testing is going to continue. Uh, you know, it's going to be, uh, be, be conducted throughout uh, this pandemic. As Africa's leading science council, the CSIR prides itself in using excellence in R&D capability and infrastructure to drive collaborative initiatives with industry and the SMMEs to develop localized technologies for economic impact and social relevance. KBio is a CSIR spin-out and this milestone has demonstrated strength in partnerships and the CSIR's endeavors in supporting SMMEs to advance localization of technologies.